Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alan Paul here, and we're going to be doing our permadeath playthrough. As you can see, we're at 57 minutes into this, and we're going to go ahead and select it and get into here. So, uh, we're not going to keep the videos as long. I think I'm going to select this or knock it down, I should say, to about 45 minutes of video. That seems to be kind of a happy medium. I do want to go longer than 30 minutes on any given video and I think an hour while it is uh, plenty long enough I think that it would be better if we keep it just toned down just a touch to try to keep these videos going that way you know if I say 45 minutes and we go a little over and we do go up to an hour it's perfectly fine but that way we're not running at an hour and a half on every single video so let's see how we do here here we are we're in our space station with our Radiant Pillar in our original look. I've gone ahead and put that on there, but, you know, hey, you know, we'll see how it goes as time goes by. Again, we're not going to add anything else to ourselves. All the stuff that you add in, like if you want to add armor and things like that, and the shoulder pads, it's all cosmetic and has nothing to do with any special protection. So it uh, looks like we still have our basics here. Um, you, you can see that we're, we're, we've got dioxide, so that'll help us out greatly. I'm going to need a, a lot more dihydrogen as we go by. That's going to be definitely needed. Uh, and some of the other elements, obviously, as well. Starship, I'm not sure how far I'm going to go with upgrading it. I really would like to get a different a different ship. We're going to try to find ourselves a dissident system that we can work with. I think that would be much, much better to work with a dissident system because there's so many more things I can get. But until we can get the A-class upgrade for our multi-tools so that we can actually start getting better items and, better, uh, and, and carving down the really good stuff we probably need to hold off on that so let's continue with the storyline until we can get what we want all right here we go so follow the coordinates and follow the signal so it looks like it's heading heading me back to this planet here this is looks like a cold planet sub-zero frost crystals copper di copper dioxide and sodium all right let's head on our ways and how much money do we have? We got about two and a half mil. That's good. Good start. Kind of like this. Oh, and that's right. We do have that one glyph that we can go after. So we'll make sure we head over there here in just a little bit. Let's get more of the storyline done and we'll, we'll head on over there. Hang on just a second. All right. Slow it down. Now... It's leading us somewhere, so let's do a scan to see if there's anything nearby. Looks like we've got a little place over here. I don't know how far away it is. No, that's way too far. Way too far. It shouldn't be over there. Let's turn back around and take another scan. Nope, something right there. Nope, it is right here. What do you know? Got a funny feeling this is where we need to be. Let's get away from that, because that can hurt us. How much oxygen we got? 153 is pretty good. Let's grab another one. Okay. Let's grab these. Because these pods really are what we're looking for. And while we're here, let's scan some animals. Oh, we're in the right spot. Let me just let it finish up. Okay, good. And now when we look through, we can scan our animals and see how many we got to scan here. Uh, bottom right, eight. Eight animals. Okay, well, that's actually doable. There's two. We're not getting much for them because we don't have any kind of upgrades for it. Three. All right, we already got f half of them, and that was just standing in one spot right where we landed. So that's good. We're going to have to watch our temperature, though, because it's dropping. Sentinels don't seem to be on attack and kill. That's always a good thing. We've got another unknown building 500 meters away. Oh, that's a good thing. Let's grab that. There we go. Nice. Always good. How are we doing on carbon? Doing good on carbon. We could use more condensed... Sodium would probably be a good idea, too, sooner or later. Let's go ahead and grab this, too, while we're at it. That's going to give us a uh, little bit of nanites and stuff like that. Okay, let's do this before we freeze our butt off. 
The sparking wires of the machine generate a signal tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decipher the message. Decoding. Bunch of 16s. Entry 4925. No fuel. Failed to reach the station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to underground deployed base computer. Oh, here's where we get our base computer and terrain manipulator. There you go. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever's leaving, who, whoever is leaving these messages. So we already know this. I mean, if anybody's ever played the game, they already know that this is messages that you're finding that used to be from you. So that's the whole point, is that you're getting all these messages, and, you know, that's a good thing. Yeah, these things don't give a left. All right. Any more animals uh, around here that popped up while I wasn't looking? No. And no more herbs, as I like to call them. That's a joke. And we, let's get in our ship and cool and warm up a little bit. We do want to do a little research around here. And I do want to try to see if I can't find more of the animals. Let's take a look um, in here and see what we got. Uh, ground, ground, and two underground. It's going to be tough to find the two underground ones. That's the problem. We're already at the North Pole, so that's going to be interesting. Um, I forgot we had that, but we're going to keep it here. Because, again, we'll use it in a new ship. Uh, looks like we got a lot of good stuff on our persons, though. That's excellent. All right, good. So we got to install our terrain manipulator. Um, I will usually install that over here. We need two carbon nanotubes and a dihydrogen jelly. So let's go in here and make those. We don't have enough hydrogen, dihydrogen to make it, but we do have the car carbon nanotubes taken care of. Let's do that real quick. And... We need dihydrogen. Now, if you look around the uh, uh, module we were just at, the damaged machinery, you see that cloud, that kind of off-color cloud? That is a clue. A clue to finding us the, um, not the dissident ones, but the other guys. I can't think of their names off the top of my head. I'm sure you're going to drop it in the comments if I don't remember myself. So... Let's see if we can find a little dihydrogen around us. There's some right over there. I gotta remember I'm in permadeath. I gotta be careful with my boostings. Man, oh man, come on. Anything closer? Yeah, here we go. Just hopefully we can gather this without anything attacking us. That's probably something I should have done in the space station. I should have checked out some of the pilots to see if anybody had any dihydrogen gels. Well, that's always a good thing, getting those crystals. Because then we can break those open and get a little extra. Okay, that gives us our dihydrogen jelly. And look at that. Oh, we got a storm crystal out of it. Awesome. Those are very handy. Very, very handy. Doesn't happen all the time. All right. Getting the ship again so we can chill or really warm up. All right. Grain manipulator is complete. All right, so we got chromatic metal. We want to deploy to make a base. We don't want to make a base here. This is the last place we want to make a base. So let's, since we're here, let's check out this guy, the unknown grave. We'll get ourselves a um, lift while we're here and an upgrade. So that'll be good. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we haven't scanned this planet yet. What is this one? Hazy. Copper, fecium, and silver. It's a better planet than most. Kind of nice. I don't know. We'll see what it's like. Maybe it's going to be... Yeah, it's mountainous. It makes it a little tougher, but... Closer to the water might be good. I don't know what the storms are like here. We'll have to be careful. Because we don't want to die from storms. All right. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Easy, easy. Right here. Now, I did have a suggestion make uh, that said uh, from... Goris, Goris Bix, uh, made the mention of, hey, why don't you go ahead and every time you go to a new system, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, we're gonna have to, and I, I can't kill him, can I? Because I've got a sentinel nearby, and he's gonna get mad if I do. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Let's get away from this guy. Still following. Yeah. 
There we go. So the sentinel is on alert. Alright, he's gone far enough away that I can get this done. Let's see if I can go over here and get it done. I'm probably going to get attacked while I'm doing this. So I'm not going to read any of this. We're just going to continue on. There we go. Got him. And the Sentinel none the wiser. Excellent. All right. Now, I didn't check before to see how many animals were out here. Two of eight, again. Yeah, that's a pain in the neck. Oh, man, I wish I could get those crystals. They're worth quite a bit. I mean, I got money right now, but even if I wanted to purchase a uh, purchase one, it would be... Purchase one. If I wanted to purchase a ship, that is, it would take me a while. He's tame. Remembers faces. That's nice. I wish I could remember faces. Actually, I remember faces pretty well. That's not my problem. My problem is remembering names. So, how about an, uh, an animal that says it remembers a lot of names? <laughs> Just can't remember the faces. It's a blind animal. At least that's how I feel I am sometimes. Alright. So we got four. Again. That's it. Alright. But this doesn't look like it's a planet I want to make home. So let's go take a look at the other planets. And my life support is low, so we're just going to hold still for just a moment. Alright. Get some more dihydrogen while we're here. Recharge the mining beam. Uh, let's use the condensed. And life support, we're going to use the di dioxide. There we go. Alright, so we're good. How's our launch fuel? Down to 10%. Alright, now we did get something out of that. So before we go much further, let's check our inventory. We should have that. Gives us a pulse engine module, so we'll go ahead and add that in for now. It's a C-class. It's not really worth a whole lot, so maybe it'll do something. More efficiency. That's good. More maneuverability. Uh, what do we use? We can use pyrite for that, which we happen to have in our inventory, so that's nice. All right, very good. These are worth a little bit. I'll hang on to them in case I need to do something. The same thing with the mordite. You might as well try to gather as much as you can for now because you're going to need things down the road as you create your base. All right, let's take a look around. What do we got? There's the world we just came from, right? Yep, Sub-Zero. What are you? Hopefully halfway decent. Frostbound, also very cold. All right, I'm not very into the cold planets, but if we have to, we have to. You are undiscovered. Airless. Hmm. I don't think I'll find Sentinels there anyway. Okay, let's see what else we've got. I don't think we have too many more planets. The planet we started at, which I think is this one. Yeah, the super critical one. All right, then we're back to these guys. All right, so do we want cold? Or do we want to go with the airless planet? Uh, where's the space station at? Space station's over here. Yeah, actually, we could see it right there. So I think it would be better if we could go here... Even though it's a cold planet, it would be a better planet than anywhere else. Uh, okay, we'll go there. And we'll set up our first base there. It will not be our home base, but it will definitely be our first base. And please, no baseball ones. Alright, so there's the space station. We will turn towards the planet and go straight at it and land straight straight below the space station. That's what makes it more convenient if you can do that. Alright. Third person view. Alright. About 15 minutes in and then we're going to create this base that will continue on our storyline. So we have one glyph so far. That's a good thing. We are going to go by the storyline. I'm just going to crash through these trees. There we go. Is there any place we can land? Let's take a look around. 
It's actually kind of a pretty planet. All right. Let's just go a little ways away and see if we can find some place to land. I'm sure the storms are nasty. What are you? Assuming just a little campsite or something? Yeah. Figured as much. Actually, we could use that to find something, but we do need to get a... If we can find something with a landing pad, that would be better. It doesn't make a difference what it is. Another one. Interesting. You know, we could hope we find another crashed ship. That would be nice, but this uh, repairing those things just takes forever. I'm not into that. That's why I want to find a dissident system, because those ships that you can find there tend to be uh, in excellent condition. Nothing usually needs to be repaired. So that's always a good thing. Ah, seems we found a structure here. If it's not abandoned, we're in good shape. Nope. Just a little campground. With a couple smaller buildings. I'm going to purposely do this because I need to save my launch fuel. Nope, what's this? Why didn't you show up when I scanned? I think we got the landing pad. Let's see what happens here. Yep, we did. Good. Excellent. So, we've already scanned you. Again, we've scanned four creatures here. Excellent. And we do have some structures here that we can, we can jump in and out if we need to. There we go. Nice, actually. It's well lit up for once. These places are usually dark as uh, doornails, you know, but... Darkest doornails? What does darkest doornails mean? Where did I get that from? Alright. They're very dark. So there. Navigation data. We're going to get some nanites. Alright, good. Excellent. Hey, animals. Ooh, I know what kind of animals those are. I'll take you. Not the kind of animals I was looking for, but you might be. Alright, so that's two more. Now, are those all land animals? Let me see here. Or are they underground? Nope, we need two undergrounds. And this... I don't think that's underground. That's just a weird formation. I don't think we have a cave anywhere near here. Nothing's attacking me. That's good. Always a plus, right? So, I think I'm going to... Do we have any broken machinery over here? technology is far away so no it's not here okay let's go over here with we'll the save icon thing here the little save point all right we'll get a chart out of it where is the door there's the door to get in and we can build right outside this place i don't know what this place is i don't know if it's just a scanning the heavens yeah let's go ahead and use it anyway we'll talk to this guy real quick uh, yeah. Not going to really follow all this. This isn't very really important. It has nothing to do with this. Uh, let's just give him some common metal and hope for the best. Okay. But he taught us a word. That's important. There we go. Get some ammunition. And this should be just a, like, a crashed freighter or something like that. Uh, and watch beacon from an unknown star endlessly play itself out on the screen. The pattern seems clear, but what to enter? Yeah, it is. So, this is the same kind of thing. It's a pattern this time rather than a mathematical equation. So you see it's 2738, then you have 7382. So basically it takes the 2 and puts it on the end. Then you take the 7 and put it on the end for the next set. So you're doing the next the same way. So it'll be 8273, which will be number 2. Location within the distant stars. It does a pullback. I don't know why, because the location is very far away from here on another planet. But it says signal detect, and it may or may not be a freighter. It could be an actual... Uh, let me see here. Oh, there it is. An ancient ruin. Okay, well, that's good. That could be worth some money. All right. Well, that's good. We can't get any of these doorways here because we need atlas passes, so I'm not worried about it. So we need to create a base. So let's go ahead and get a base computer. I'm going to put it outside here. Right about here. 
Yeah, nobody in their right mind would make a base here. I get it. <laughs> so, base computer is planted on a frozen world. And we are going to have to create something here. So, let's get this started here. Okay. Search space computer. Let's do it. And we'll read it out. Accessing log from previous user. Entry 4925D follows. Storm sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plants while something need to, something back soon. Extract plants. So we get all the walls. So let's go ahead and do it. So we need to build the shelter. And when we do this, a storm's going to brew up. So let's go ahead and get it done. I always make it four square to start with. Then we'll put some walls up. We may need more carbon, but we'll see. See? Blizzard. And there we go. We do need a door, which we can't make because we need pure ferrite. So let's put a roof on because we can do that. I'm going to hit the B button to pull back. And I'm out of components. I need more carbon, as you can see. But we have enough of this to be able to do something. So let's put our unit down here. I need to make just a little bit more carbon. I could I could probably shoot some. If I have plants nearby, I can shoot. Eh, let's step outside for just a second. Yeah, carbon. Good. We need a lot more carbon. And you notice the storm is just going to kill me if I don't get my butt inside. So let's go ahead and do it. Wow. Whew. That was nasty. Okay, let's put the let's put the other roof panel up, shall we? Let me get that done real quick. We'll put that up there. Okay, we're done there. And we need some pure ferrite to make a door. Uh, let's put very little in here. And pure ferrite, we don't need much of. We need 10. I don't want to take up too much room in our inventory. There we go. And the door goes right. I need more carbon. <laughs> ah, good grief. Oh, wait, I think there's a plant right there. Got it. Just enough. Got the door. All right, we've got a good door, but we are literally depleted on carbon. We need more carbon. All right, so that's good. We got our base. We got this set up. So we got to return to the base computer. Now here's not something that we can do now. If you go here, hit C, you can select your base computer and pull it inside. Now, there we go, and it's facing the wrong way. Let's try that one more time. There we go. There we go. Now it'll face in a direction that we can actually use it in. We could have used it the other way, honestly, but it's better to do it this way. All right, accessing log. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925E follows. Construction largely something a success. Recovered salvageable data from nearby, probably just uh, broken machinery. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices beginning search. So we extract the, slant, the plans. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans, and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. So we get a construction unit. Magnetized ferrite and carbon nanotubes. But we need to gather more, more materials to do that. So let's get a move on. Uh, the storm is done, so we can get outside and in, in relative safety... We probably want to analyze this. Who knows what we get out of it? Looks like we get condensed carbon, so let's go ahead and do it. And the trees are the same way. Let's go ahead and get them as well. Because you never know what you might get out of these things. And we're going to have to watch our temperature. We don't have any protection against the elements, so let's be careful. Let's be careful out there, people. So we got six more oxygen out of it, and we got... How much carbon are we getting out of these? Well, that's not bad. 
about 40 carbon. I really could use a lot of it, so I'm going to go ahead and get it. Looks like we're just about at sunrise, too. All right, there we go. We'll get these two while we're here. Just because they're here. And four. All in one shot. Excellent. All right. Is that an animal we've scanned? Yes, it is. And it looks like we've got plenty of salvageable data, right? How much do we have so far? We only got the two. How about you? You an animal? No? Well, you're not an animal. You're an animal, but you're not one I've scanned before. Uh, how far away are you? 314... Uh, 198. I think we'll head this way. That looks like it's a better one. We're already halfway. So, we got batteries. That'll help us. But we want to eventually get a lot more stuff. Um, what do we go? What do we accomplish? I need to know. Ah, setting out, of course. I know, you don't want me touching your rocks. I hurt myself on that landing. Unbelievable. There we go. That's one. Now, usually the first several times you get them, they only give you two of them. So, you know, be advised. Scan the plants. Might as well. You get money for them anyway, so you might as well do it. Uh, but again, we want to find the two underground animals. That'll give us some more stuff. Let's head this way. Um, oh, we need to recharge. Uh, I'm going to use this for now. And we'll remember to use the battery next time we get low enough. I don't think we're... I think we're okay in oxygen for now. We're going to just hold off on picking some of that up. Sodium, yeah, we'll grab it as we go. Really need a backpack upgrade one of these days. And, gotcha. Should be two more. We probably want to get about ten or so. Okay, we got some nanites out of that. What's next? We got damaged machinery. Now, damaged machinery almost always have buried technology nearby. So let's head to the damaged machinery. Opportunity to get condensed carbon is always a good thing. Grab it while you can. That is a very handy material and more efficient to use. What is this? This is dioxide. We've got a ton of it. We don't really need any more right now. Okay, so let's check. See, there it is right there. Let's check the damaged machinery first. Get rid of the slime. And it looks like we got some nanites out of that. So let's get our... Oh, I don't think we do. I don't think it's buried. Our unburied technology. Okay, good. Where to? I guarantee you we got two more. There's the damaged machinery we just took. So let's go down lower. Head in that general direction. So I don't want to go too far away from our ship. About to tell us we're too low again. There we go. Take another look. See what we got nearby. Got plants. Not a lot of stuff. Don't forget if there's any caves nearby, we want to check them out. Not so much for the cobalt. We want to see if we can find our animals. Ah, remember we need dihydrogen. Let's go ahead and grab it while we can. Especially if there's no sentinels around to pick on us. Uh-oh. Okay, we'll go ahead and get going. Life support lower is low. We'll grab a dioxide. There we go. Hmm, I wonder, is this a cave? It is. A couple ships flying nearby. Let's check them out. 
Go ahead in here and relax. <clears throat> Pardon me. And see if we see any animals in here. We see some animals out there, but not in here. Oh, what do you know? It leads outside. A lot of times if you hang out here for a few minutes, an animal like that might appear. Okay, good. So we got one animal, it looks like, and there's another one over there. Let's see. That one's 92 away. This one's closer. Well, it was. All right, let's head to this one. I think they're the same animal. So we'll head this way. And it looks like there might be another cave over here someplace. Right there. 16 blocks away, so... Ah, there's the opening. Hello there. So there's one of the two creatures we're looking for. Be careful looking in that mode because of those guys. See? Watch out for them. Because they'll release the gas while you're close by and you're looking at them and then you'll be in trouble. Alright, so we don't see any other underground creatures, right? Can't see a blessed thing because of the darkness, but... That's because I toggle my light off and on. I don't really look for it. So. A pretty decent sized cave, though. Interesting. Do a little spelunking, I guess. I guess that's what we'll call this episode. The spelunking episode. Looks like we got another one of you guys there. The hopping foot or something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of the creatures. It'd be kind of nice to find the last creature and we can get that bonus. But, it is what it is. Uh, turn off our light. And looks like we got our ship right there. So we're going to go ahead and head up the hill. In an angle direction here and see if we find anything over this way. No, I don't see anything just yet. I was hoping to get more. How much did we end up with? We're at eight? Yeah, okay. Really thought we'd find more. Well, looks like a little cache right here. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff. Okay, what else we got? Deposits. Ah, there's some right there. I was hoping to get about 10, so this should give us the 10 we're looking for. You don't have to get 10. You can stop at 8. You can get 2 if you wanted to and continue on, but... Get this one. This is worth more to me than angering the uh, Sentinels, so if they came and saw me doing it, I don't care. I'll just keep going. Wow, really hurting myself with those landings. I wasn't even landing that hard. Hey, don't do that. No joking with me like that. Alright. So I think we got enough. That should give us the 10 we need. We can be overachievers and get a little bit more if we want. I say overachieve. Always good to have extra. Because now we're at a point where we're not selling it anymore. You know I had grabbed a whole bunch to begin with. But... I find it easier to have extra in case we need it now and not sell it. Plus, we did find, you know, that extra stuff that we got, so. There we go. And since there's no Sentinels nearby to get angry at me for taking all this, I'm going to take all this. All your dihydrogen is mine. Okay, there we go. And where did it go? That way. Okay. Okay. And we got some damaged machinery nearby, which we want to... Oh, I can't get this one. I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way.
Wow, it's pretty far down there. Alright, out we go. Let's grab the damaged machinery. Maybe we'll get an upgrade. Maybe we'll get more nanites. Hey, we did. We got a shield module for our selves. Let's put you up here. So it gives us a little bit more shield strength and core health. That, that's excellent. Actually, what we can do, eat one of those, and we'll get extra health. Excellent. Excellent. So our health is restored. Beautiful. All right. That was a good thing. Uh, let's not press our luck. Let's go ahead and head back to our ship, which is in this general direction up there on the hill. Okay, good. Moving on. Onwards and upwards. So we have an extra health. That's good. That turned out to be a very good uh, upgrade. Even though it was only A class instead of S, it was still decent. Take what you can get, you know? I ran out of run juice. Boy, the life support just drops so quickly on this. I wish I had a spot to put it in that I could upgrade it. Okay. There's our ship. Okay. Let's head for our little building here. We need magnetized ferrite, so I'm glad we grabbed more of that. Okay. We needed two carbon nanotubes, I think it was. Let me see. One carbon nanotube. Okay. So let's go over here. We need magnetized ferrite, so we're going to put a little ferrite dust in here. Let's get started. We need one carbon nanotube. We've got plenty of carbon now. Add plenty of carbon now. Okay, we needed 40 of or 20 of it. So I'm just going to keep making it. Um, we'll get the whole shebang out of this. There we go. Drop it in, and we need 40. Okay, well, we're not going to get enough out of this. We'll need a little bit more. So that was on me. That's okay. Let's let it finish out, and we'll go for it. And we'll think about, at some point, coming to an end. <laughs> All right. So we need one more. So we're going to do ferrite dust. Believe it or not... We're going to do two. There it is. So we're going to get the exact amount we need. We have 40. All right, let's construct our research unit. And we'll put you... We'll just put you in the corner. There we go. Just in time for another blizzard. All right, diagnostic suggestion. Users should recover salvage data from buried technology, equip and utilize an analysis visor. Well, we've already done that. So, buildable technology. Let's see what we got. We can get ourselves a base teleport module, which I believe is one of the things it wants us to get. So, it takes two to get that. Biofuel reactor we got. We needed that anyway. We need the wire. It doesn't cost us anything to get that. So, we have nine left. So, we definitely need a battery. Because we want to store energy in it. And we don't have enough to do the solar panels yet. But we'll stick with the biofuel reactors. Those will come in handy. Um, I'll hold off on save beacons and health stations and stuff like that for now. We don't really need them at the moment. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. We need to build ourselves a base teleport module. So we need four metal plates and two carbon nanotubes. I think we have enough to do the carbon nanotubes. We do. And the four metal plates, one, two, three, four, right? Yep, we have just enough. And what else did we need? Well, that was it, 40 sodium we already had. So we'll put you over here. There we go. And we need to power it. Oh, we can rename our base. Let's don't forget to rename the base because it asks us to do that. So we're going to rename this... Wall, of course. Uh, what do we call this? I like to call things like Alpha, Beta, Gamma, things like that. But I think I'm going to go a little different today. We're going to call this uh, the Elon Paul uh, Ugly Base. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Better yet. Bomb fall. Too cold. Base. There we go. Excellent. Supply power to the base teleport module. Let's go ahead and do the power now. Uh, that's going to be our biofuel reactor. We need a metal plate for that. And we're out of uh, ferrite dust. Unfortunately. Uh, what are we in? Terrain manipulator? We need to pull out our mining beam. Can we reach any from in here? Out here? Whatever? Nope. We'll have to go out. Oh well. There's a bunch over here. We don't need much of it. We just need a little bit. Well, good, because I'm about to die. Alright, that should be enough. There we go. Let's get our life support up to snuff. There we go. Okay, we're good. So now we can make our biofuel reactor. We still need our metal plate. Okay, we'll make that. And we're just going to run a wire for now straight to the unit rather than putting a battery in because we can't afford the battery yet. We go into the biofuel reactor and we want to power it. We can use anything we want. I don't, I'm low on carbon and condensed. I don't really want to use those. So I'll use some oxygen. We got plenty of that. And it gives us 50 hours of power. So there we go. But we definitely need to make a battery. I want to at least make one battery. Hold on. Let's check out how much it costs. We need 40 more magnetized ferrite. So we'll need 80 ferrite dust. Right. So let's go find some. I'm looking at those pillars in front of me. I'm liking the way they look. Travel 10,000 kilometers. I don't even remember doing it, huh? Nope, can't get those. Just go for the rocks. We got 20 ferrite out of that. We should probably analyze them. Oh, we get chromatic metal out of them? Ugh, I should have been doing that all along. Yeah, we got a new signal. So we're going to check out the signal here once we get everything completed. Have we scanned that one yet? No, we haven't. What's the secondary element of that one? Dihydrogen. How nice. Most crystalline structure. How interesting. Okay. I haven't seen that one before. Okay, good. What about these little guys here? They have secondary elements. More dihydrogen. I want to get as much as I can right now because we need it. All right, good deal. All right, that's good. We got a good amount of ferrite dust. Charge you back up. All right, I think we're going to be all right now. Let's make ourselves a battery to keep this thing charged. Okay, and let's see. So we need 40 more of that. So we'll need, we'll need 80. Here we go. Go. All right, good deal. Let's see here. As we snooze away, we're running low on juice in here, too. Let's see. Okay, that's it. Ferrite dust. We're going to put the pure ferrite in here and get ourselves magnetized. Ferrite. And then we'll be all set. And we'll get our battery installed and we'll have that ready to go. So we'll put... What we're going to do is we're going to go into here. I'm going to... 
Uh, let's see. Edit placed parts. That's that one. We want to get rid of that and hit the X button. It deletes it. Okay. And there's our magnetized ferrite. And we'll put the battery right next to it. Right. I need condensed carbon and I just dropped some in there. Uh, to get condensed carbon, you can use regular carbon. But it's at a 2 to 1 ratio. And I need 5 more beyond that. One more beyond that. Isn't that funny? We need more condensed carbon. It's amazing. At this stage of the game, you really just, you run out of everything. So, do what you can. There we go. Now we can make it. Battery it is. Battery goes right here. And we're going to run a power cable from here here, then here to here. And if we look at this, you see it's storing power now. So we're in good shape. So, that'll be good. Now we've got it. And later on, when we can get ourselves a solar panel, uh, we can put solar panels in here and we'll have it charge it up quicker and keep it going during the day. Alright, excellent. So we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and do the base computer real quick. Accessing logs from pre uh, previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925 follows. F, the F one. Scanner detected an unusual broadcast, repeating 16 from the space station. Warning, end of archive. Okay, the base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. Our predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. So I think that's where we're going to end the episode. We'll end the episode on the space station. But you know what? Since we're past the 45 minute mark, we would normally just end right now. There is one thing we're going to do first. We're going to go after that first. The ancient ruin. So let's head there real quick. Since it's the neighboring planet anyway, and it won't take long to get there and back. We'll get our ancient ruin uh, as far as the, uh, whatever it has to offer us, and then we'll head back. Better be on this planet. Not on the planet, or something behind it, right? Now, if I remember correctly, this is also a cold planet, but... I think we have yet to set foot on it. Here we go. So, ancient ruin. Okay, it's, the, it's one of these ancient ruins. Okay, I gotcha. And plop. And we always want to grab the word first. Head on up. Was I about to be attacked by something? No? Okay, because I don't think I've landed here before, right? Yeah, I guess I have. Okay. Another knowledge stone. Okay, let's see what this has to tell me. Brilliant light erupts from the ancient marker and circles me, engulfing me, my mind with the memories and voices of the Cor Corvax echoes. The dreams of entities who once worshipped here became become my own. The Atlas interfaces drift alone in the endless void. They are silent. They are unknowable fragments of an ancient whole, yet their imprint on time and space molds our existence. They are the equation, and life is its answer. Through their monoliths, they give understanding to their boundless meaning and that of our own. So, rather than seek help with language, I'm going to go knowledge of the past because I want money. No. It's basically the units that we're after. We do need to get more units as we times go about, as time goes by so that we can actually acquire more things like better ships and stuff like that. So, here's where we start. It's only 16 minutes away on foot. We'll obviously take our ship, but our ship is going to need launch fuel. So, let's see. Can I create? Yes, I can. Launch fuel. All right, we're good. Let's head over there. Now, that's one of those structures, again, right there that I could go after. It'll just direct me to another historical monument. There's no reason to do so. How far away is this thing? Ah, pff, stay here. Really want to find a dissident system, though, as you know. So we may be, first time we go to warp, we're probably going to go to warp to a dissident system, I think. And just, you know stick our tongue out at the uh, 
whole idea of what it wants us to do. Okay. I always land off to one side a little bit, like right here is a good place. You need three keys. I always recommend, you know, switch over to ter terrain manipulator. Your first key, look at the archway going down, follow the path down on its widest setting, and you'll always find a chest right here. That gives you your first key. Ancient key number one. Okay, go over here to this structure right here. Dig down into the opening front doorway. There's always another one there. Easiest ones to find. Um, nice tree. I do need, um... Will that work? No? Can I scan it? No. Alright, well, it needs to go. And I can't seem to get rid of it. But just follow the path. It breaks to the right. Follow the path down, and you'll find your third key. All three keys. Now, you can, if you want, take this uh, Gravitino Ball. They're worth quite a bit. But you will attract Sentinels immediately to your position, and they will attack you. But the three keys open a chest. You see this archway here buried in the ground? It's straight down. You can stand here if you want to be safer. And it's straight down here. And there's your chest that you're looking for. Large artifact, artifact crate, and each of the keys open these three spots. And you get your treasure. Rare item, 748 years old. It's going to be worth about half mil, I think. Let's see. 610. That was about right. So not bad. We do want to sell that. Okay, good deal. Find our way back out of the hole. And we're off and away. Let's go to the space station, shall we? All right. Up we go. And it's pointing at the space station already because it wants us to go there. I don't know if we can get it from here yet. I didn't think so. Oh, nice ship there. Huh? Let's go up into space a little bit. And there we go. It'll do the transition here. Pause. And we're out. Down to the space station. Off we go. Okay. So we're going to end our episode here in the space station. We'll sell a couple of items. We'll uh, do a little reorganizing our in inventory. And then we'll close this down for the day. Excellent. And the Radiant Pillar is a nice little ship. But I am so partial to my... So much more partial to my... Uh, sentinel ships that I like to have, so I'll be looking for one of those in the next episode, I think. Down we go. Alright. Let's go off to this terminal over here and sell it off. Probably want to clean up our inventory anyway. So we're going to get rid of, we're going to keep our salvage data, of course, and our navigation data. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, that's in that inventory. We're going to hang on to those for now. We could get rid of the storm crystals. We might as well sell them. It's going to be a while before we're going to have warp hyper cores. So we might as well go ahead and get rid of them. And by then, by the time we can get some, we'll be in a good enough position that we can get them on our own. So, And here we go. 600 grand. Go ahead and grab that. All right. We'll keep the chromatic metal, of course. So that gets us up to 3.4 million. Not bad. Let's go ahead and... Keep this here. We're going to put this in our ship inventory. Move things around a little bit. Uh, put you there. I'm going to put oxygen with the, the dioxide because we could really use that. Uh, ferrite and carbon, I'm going to switch around and I'll be moving them down the list over here. Okay, good, 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 good. What do we have in here I can purchase? Let's see. Metal plates, microprocessors, we've already got those. Silver, copper. Gold and ammonia. Okay. Doesn't have much for me. Let's see if any of our friends out here that have landed have anything for me. Uh, what do we got? Silver, gold, pugnium. That's it. Let's check the fighter. We've got three haulers. They're going to have very similar inventories. Fighter will definitely have something different. Oh, not a whole lot, huh? Very light on his inventory. We'll check out the other haulers anyway, because they're here. 
Nope. Really not a lot here worth my time, unfortunately. He looks like he's about ready to leave. And a ship just landed. A hydrogen jelly. Grab about... I don't know, I'm going to grab about 15 of those. And we got Pyrite and Tritium, which we've already got, so I'm not worried about it. Who just landed? Oh, another fighter. Let's check it out. And what does he have? He has a Hermetic Seal. Not that that really helps us any. Rusted Metal and Platinum. Alright, nothing really I can use. Uh, how much is the ship? Just out of curiosity, my friend. It's an A-class. I guarantee it's going to be expensive. Yeah, 13 mil. Yeah, we're not going to be anywhere close to that for a while. But it was an A-class ship. That was pretty good. That's a C-class and only worth 4 mil. we got an Explorer class, which is actually better for what we want to do for 7.5. Uh, we'll check out the Explorer only because he'll have a different inventory. And we got Pyrite here. Chromatic Metal. I think we can buy that. This chromatic metal is going to be something we're going to need a lot of. So we might as well grab it while we can. Alright, we're good. Another explorer class. If he's got it too, I'll go ahead and grab some more from him. Because that, that'll give us like uh, 2,000 chromatic metal in our inventory. So that'll be a great start for us. There we go. It's a very loud chime from my um, tablet over here. Very weird. Okay. Good deal. And I think we've already done this. Yes, we have. Do we have anything to sell? No, we don't. We're going to put this in our starship. And we'll be transferring this or turning this into uh, dihydrogen jelly at some point. So the, uh, dihydrogen, pardon me, crystals. We'll probably keep a few of them in our inventory. Let's go over here. Just check the back room real fast one more time. We don't have enough in the way of... Did we already grab that? Yes, we did. Let me see. I started to say we don't have enough. Oh, this has chromatic metal right here in the station, too. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'll grab it. It's worth it. Okay, silver dioxide, which we can get any time. Good, good, good. Excellent to know. Probably knew that last time, too. How many nanites I got on me? 373. Now, if you go into your discoveries and you do an upload for everything you found so far, you might get about another 30 or so. I just got 173. That's pretty good. All right. Do we need anything for our for our? Yeah. You know what? Do we have anything over here for our scanner? Maybe. Oh. Okay. I didn't know I was doing that here. Can we talk to him and get stuff from him. Can we do it three times with him? We are watching you, Traveler Friend. Find what we have left you. I forgot this was part of the storyline. I apologize. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, lodged directly to my exosuit. Crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me, though through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer will be able to make something of this code, which we will do in the next episode. Can I please talk to this guy and buy something from him? Ugh. No, I can't. So I can't get any scanner upgrades right now. So we'll have to wait until the next episode after we go back home. Which we are not doing today. So I'm going to go in here. Jump out. How much is that? Four million, huh? Nice. And that is the end of our episode. So I want to thank you all for watching. It went on almost a complete hour here. And I hope you enjoyed watching what you saw so far. Again, this was our second episode of this series. And we're going to continue on. We'll go through every single part of the storyline. We'll do all the submissions. The only one we're going to hold off a little bit on is the settlement. The settlement is going to take a lot of time uh, because there's hours upon hours in between certain missions on the settlements. So what we'll do is we'll compile that as the year goes on. Perhaps this winter when I have more time, I will do more uh, episodes of that. But we'll see what happens. All right, folks. So thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.